Welcome back to What Are You Noobs with General Disturbance and you are looking at a Geschutzwagen Tiger, the GW Tiger, the Tier 9 German SPG. And this one is being driven by Bish Creek and we're on Sea Creek Line. And I think it's Sea Creek Line Assault. Pretty sure it is. Let's soon check that. Yeah, I think it's actually have to main, be maintained within the chassis. Uh, that was the idea behind the concept at least. But it was to displace the recoil from the gun into the ground. So, sort of like the spade that you find on the back of uh, American RT and French RT and some British ones too. Okay, so you can see we can get a shot to that E75 but He's choosing not to. It's difficult to find a target to fire at at the moment. That T, um, T10 is moving a little too quick, but oh, it's slowed down. I can get a shot into that. And he does. Nice 589 hit points, two critical hits. That's a good start. Of course, the ideal thing in uh, an assault battle like this is to try and take all the um, uh, tanks that are actually spotting for their RT um, to ensure that their RT is blind as they as you approach them. Uh, this uh, the T10 and the Nerva are very unusual tanks to be doing spotting. In fact, it's, it's almost unheard of for heavies. Be doing spotting. And that T10 has now been taken out. The thing is that they're not. Oh, is it T10? It was a 110 actually. Uh, the thing is, they're not very fast, and you need fast tanks to be able to react to um, the uh, assault tanks. Now, let's go for that lever. It's up on top of the hill, but it's actually in the pass on top of the hill. Uh, coming down the other side towards the town. Fires around. And it looks like you've got a stun there, but I don't see any damage. Now, just further to the east is where the RT are normally located. It's where they normally spawn on this map. So he might try to count battery if he can't find any useful targets elsewhere. Two thirds of the way through his load cycle, and the load has been taken out. So. Now he's rather short on targets to fire at. Nothing else is spotted at this moment. So what he might try to do is go for those arty. Um, oh, no, he has found some targets now. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get an angle. There's a red line there. You see the building's in construction in the way. If he fires the shell, it will hit the top of that building and he will not hit the target. Now there's a batch at 12 ton. It's come out very far outside, but I think he's actually, he can't go any further because there's an AMX AC-48 stopping him from going any further. And he kills him! 12 times been wiped out. That's a good shot. Okay, he's got another enemy here, Pershing, hiding in the bushes, spotting. Uh, but again, he's not going to be able to move out if there's a tank destroyer watching him. And most of the other assault tanks are now in the town, apart from the Amex 30 up in the north. Now, if they're going to, they're going to find the RT pretty soon. So it needs to react very quickly when they do. I think that's, is that no? There's an Amex 1390 there. And he 
looks like he's going very defensive. He's climbing back up the hill again. And he fires around him. I think, yeah, that was a little too too early. He, he should have waited until it was completely dialed in. But um, you never know. He might spot the enemy tracer and the enemy RT. If the RT is going to be anywhere, this is more likely that they're going to be. There are a few other positions a little further down in the town, but this is one of the most likely positions. And there they are! And they're actually hugging each other. Oh, this is amazing. He might actually get a bombardier here. If he can lay the shell in. Rounds out. And he does hit some bombardier. <laughs> oh, wow. That is great. Now, that is how not to arty. You don't park two arty right next door to each other. It is inviting a bombardier. It will be just such a temptation. Especially when you see two tracers coming off. It's just to be so obvious. There's only four tanks left on the enemy side. And one of them's in the south, the Pershing. And the others are in the town. Um, and a one arty, obviously, who may be slightly further north. Although the M41 didn't spot him. There's a possibility he's gone south. But as it stands right now, there's four minutes left to complete the assault. And they have nearly all but wiped out the enemy team. There's only three tanks left. There's the Geschutzwagen Pike Tiger P. And he's taken that one out very quickly. I think that's a counter battery because he killed off all three arty. And now there's only one tank left to kill, and that's the Pershing that he saw earlier, who's gone unsighted, and everyone's heading south to look for him. If anything, he's going to be near that house or in the bushes. So they're going to get sighting of him very soon. But unfortunately, there he is. And he's taken out, <laughs> he's taken out very promptly by the Liberté. Um, so unfortunately, uh, uh, there was no chance there for uh, uh, Bish Creek to uh, get an additional kill. So very good battle and a very quick one as well. And in Bish Creek gets a second class tanker in the GW Tiger on Siegfried Line. He also picks up a bruise medal for scoring at least five critical hits, module damages or crew incapacitations. He gets a fighter medal because he scored at least four kills. And he got that bombardier by taking out both bat chats uh, at the same time. And he got the counter battery because he also then took out the GW Tiger P afterwards. So uh, well done, killing all three RT. Um, that's effective uh, use of your um, uh, SPG uh, to ensure that the enemy can't do to you what you've just done to the enemy. Uh, <laughs> so well done indeed. Uh, if we have a look at the team scores and see what he did, uh, we can see he came second with 3,146 hit points. He came top when it came to kills with four. And he came top when it came to base XP of 954 points. If we look at the detail report, he fired only six rounds. Six. He got three direct hits, three penetration, and three splash. So everything he fired did something. Uh, so I suspect that that round he fired at the Pershing did actually stun it um, in the process. He did damage of 3,146 hit points. All of it was more than 300 meters. He damaged six of the enemy, killed four of them. He did damage a, st a stun assistance of 847 hit points. Um, and he did two stuns on a premium count. He earned 45,909 credits. And there was no ammunition resupply because he, he probably had some ammunition spare at the time, he probably bought some rounds while they were cheap. Uh, and so uh, he takes home 45,909 credits. He earned XP of 1,431 um, experience points. And it was times two for the first victory of the day. So he takes away 2,862 experience points in total. But uh, well done, Bish Creek. That was a, a, a sanitary lesson in how not to park your uh, SPGs. Uh, park them as far apart as you possibly can, uh, but uh, uh, ensure that um, the traces are not close together or that you can be taken out with one shot. So well done indeed. If you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next replay.